So, talking about creativity tonight. Okay. Yes. This is a test that's been used by research over in Sydney. It's used by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you have a little maths equation here done in Roman numerals. Okay. So you've got three equals nine minus one. Yes. Move one of them mm -hmm. such that the equation then makes sense. It does make sense. So it's actually mathematically correct as well. Oh, so... So we have to move one to match them. Yep, you move one popsicle stick to have it make sense. So it becomes... A maths equation that's correct. What if we do this? Okay, it's now from the camera's oh. point of view. <laughs> Still correct. <laughs> Alright. So you mean it 1 means minus 11 equals 3. Oh, this, doesn't this make sense? 3 equals 9 take. That doesn't make sense. No. Remind me not to bring my tax returns to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry, I mean, I just thought, yep, that's a 3. That's yes. a 9. That's a 1. Okay. I thought, tick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, accountancy wasn't my thing. No. Oh, oh no. That's 9. Mm -hmm. That's 1. And that's oh. three. <laughs> we've <laughs> we've established that. that. Okay. Okay. Um, we, we're only allowed to move one. Yep, move one. Can we, like, yeah, rotate it, physically pick it up, move it around. I've got one way. Of, here's one way to make this mathematically correct. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the moment of creativity. The naysayers. Ah, watch this. Ready? Does not, not equal. equal. That's pretty good. That is mathematically correct. Yeah. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I'm Steve Davis, tax returns <laughs> in a two. That's now, pretty good. I can't guarantee what refund you get for that, <laughs> but you don't go to jail. But you, I'm guessing you're saying it's not what you want to I, I have this feeling is coming towards me that this isn't the answer that this is. I, know. I can tell by the body language. That, that's a, a perfectly good answer, actually. Right. Okay. I, I would say that is the correct answer. There is also a second answer. Right. Okay. Um, oh, V. Four. Take one. So if you just move that down from being an X to being a V, yep. three equals four. Take one. Yep. Yeah, that's correct. Are you still cynical about my <laughs> mathematical and accounting skills? I, I'm impressed. If I ever have to do a tax return in Roman, Roman numerals, <laughs> I'll know who to come to. What's this? I will have confidence. <laughs> when so you have the, if the ATO ever changes its, yeah. its protocols to where you have to use Roman numerals. Mm -hmm. So Julius Davis tax returns, <laughs> he's your man. <laughs> yes. Hello everyone and welcome to the preview for tonight's podcast, episode 100 of the Adelaide Show. Uh, coming to you live from the Palace Nova. Uh, they've let us behind the candy bar. Uh, there are only choc tops left at the moment, so I figured if we dipped our heads in chocolates, would that be just... No. Uh, so the show is all about <laughs> creating. <laughs> it would be frightening. It's about creativity because mm -hmm. of this man, Fernando Gro. He's our, our guest tonight. You've mm -hmm. written a book called No Missing Tools. What's the book about in two sentences? This will test your creativity. The book is about creativity and how you can live a more creative life in whatever work you do. Easy. One sentence. Yes. Uh, Nigel's got a great is it news all about uh, creativity, some interesting things from our past. We talk about all around the world, uh, you, you, including the most frustrating question ever in a social situation that you should never use. Yes, which is, so, what do you do? I know what you're going to do. You're going to listen to The Adelaide Show. It comes out tonight, uh, Wednesday night, episode 100. Hope you can listen in. We're available through iTunes as well, so you can search for The Adelaide Show there or at theadelaidshow.com.au. Download, enjoy, share with your friends, and uh, hopefully get some inspiration for some creativity as a result. Yes, indeed. And buy his book. Oh, buy multiple copies of my book. In fact, buy books for your family, for your parents, for your grandparents, <laughs> okay. for your school. Let's <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> dip his head in the chocolate. So ready? <laughs> for each of the following four nouns, mm -hmm. you need to say a verb. Okay. So a noun is a thing. A verb is a doing is a doing word. Yeah, I, I know that. Yeah. And you're a writer. You probably have a fairly. I've, sure. I've heard that before. So be sure to say a verb, not just any word, and try a verb that's creative in some way. Road. Drive. 
journey. Drum. L- beat. You stole that one from me. That was the one I was thinking. Um, uh, I'm going to pass. He's been pass. snared. Soup. Sorry? Soup. Soup. Simmer. Mix. Soap. Cleanse. Rub. Rub. Rub and cleanse. <laughs> Rub. Lather. Rub and lather. So <laughs> we get points depending on the verb that you've used, which is how common it is usually used with that noun versus how divergent it is from okay. how that would be used. <laughs> so with the word road, mm-hmm. the word drive is worth zero points. Mm. Excellent. Uh, journey is basically worth five points. Journey is a verb, it's similar to explore, which is mm-hmm. worth five points. And so that is the more divergent use of a verb for it. Now you tell me. Yep. Okay. Right. We just so now you understand what the game yeah. is. Now yeah. soup, yes. on the other hand, mm-hmm. Steve said simmer. Yes. Okay, which isn't one of the typical ones that gets used. So However, f- it's up around um, blend, no, maybe warm. Is worth three points. Blend is sort of five, so mm. about four. Prepare is four points. Mm. So it's about a four-point word. And the mix is probably pretty similar to do with blend. Blend mm. or mix is five points. Whereas if you just said eat, mm-hmm. that's zero points. If you just said cook, that's right. just two points. Because so it's, a, it's a concrete. It's word. a concrete, very simple word that means something very, very okay. formulate. Mm-hmm. Okay, drum. We had beat. Now the words here vary from play is zero points, so mm-hmm. play the drums is zero points, up to resonate or pound for four. Mm-hmm. Steve had beat, which is two points. Okay. That word is no one. I had nothing, which is nothing. You points. had a pass, which is zero points. Yeah. Now soap. You went with rub yes. for the soap. And now this varies from wash for zero points mm-hmm. up to eat for five points. It, I rub really closely okay. to, your mouth. to my mouth. Now, yes. This is close because we've got bathes four, makers four points, dispensers four. Rub is probably clean two points, cleanse two points maybe? I think rub's more than that. Lather is two points. It depends on whether there was a double entendre applied in that. In which case I think it definitely becomes quite and divergent. You said cleanse? Was also two points. Yes, it, it was a very okay. yeah, So two points. So in total, you can so we can rub that one out. You can typically get about some um, nineteen points out of that one. So that's an example of divergent thinking, mm-hmm. where you have to try and think differently from how you normally think. Okay. And it's interesting because under pressure of time, mm. you start to you start to look for the more concrete yep. things. Because if you had if you had more time and you knew the rule was yes. To come up with something more out there, yeah, creative. You, yeah. Would, you would shuffle the options, and, and the emphasis yeah. is in the instruction. And that's the part of creativity is putting together sort of non-related ideas, which is why on the soap one, eat gets five points because yes. you don't normally say I'm going to eat the soap. Mm-hmm. You typically do say I'm going to wash with some soap or something like that, or rub with it, maybe. Yes, 